Hey, good morning YouTube. Um, this morning I got my package from Hobby Link Japan. Um, that's basically a load of kits I ordered which I'm really excited to get on with. Because I'm going to start doing a little bit of a build series. Uh, let's have a look what's in the box. So what have we got in here? Packing things. Oh, I've wrapped it in a extra bag. Okay, I'm just going to have to set you down for a second. Parcel. This thing is wrapped in four layers of bloody plastic. So. Okay. First things first. Um, like I say, I was going to do a series, and because of the recent passing of Jerry Anderson, I've decided to purchase myself a Fire Flash kit. It was my favourite vehicle from the whole series of there. Uh, Thunderbirds, but I love the kit, it was cheap enough, and you know, it cost less to buy this model kit from Japan to have it shipped here than it was to buy it from eBay by about 120% cheaper. <laughs> there you go. Uh, in the box, looks like we've got some the dry transfers, I think they are. All coloured plastic. They would be for the elevator cars, I believe. It comes with the elevator cars. And the body, uh, all the windows, and a stand. Fire flash. Wow, that is a really nice kit mould. Like that. Uh, the tail, the engine grills. Pretty good. Wing sections. Wow, this is quite clever. Got a piece of runway to go with it. <laughs> the display stand. That's cool. As well as some transfers there as well. Ship the uh, aircraft itself. Um, hmm, this might be interesting. Oh, we've got English. That's good. <laughs> That's most of these. Um, Ashimaya kits or Bandai kits usually don't have any English translations on them, but there is some websites out there that you can get translations for these kits. Um, I'd choose one that I've got my iPhone. Uh, the Google Translate system, it's really good. You just scan the words with your phone and it'll automatically translate it for you. But um, well, up and coming soon will be this one. I'll be building up. Another thing we've got is from my childhood, really. Um, I don't know if any of you can remember Robotech, but um, this is the new tooling of the Macross STF-1 uh, by Bandai. It's a snap to get kit, I believe. Uh, no, it's glue. Glue and paint kit. Uh, it was only something like about 500 yen. But it doesn't transform, unfortunately. It's stuck in its robot form. Uh, uh, it comes with water slides, which is good, because usually Bandai don't supply water slides. It's usually dry transfers or stickers. Um, yeah, simple enough. I just bought it. I've recently been re-watching it on uh, Netflix, and thought, I want, a, I want, a, I want a Macross model kit now. I can actually do some decent modelling. Because when I first started watching it, I was only like, sort of like ten. That was a bit. My modelling skills were a little. And I want to have a go at, I've never built a Gundam kit before, so um, I asked some people around on YouTube what what they think is the best Gundam kit, and this one was actually quite highly recommended, so I'm going to repaint it obviously and do some work with it, but the first time I've ever built a Gundam kit and worked on one, uh, from what I understand it's like an epic snap kit to be honest. Just a little bit more detailed, but this one also transforms into like the aeroplane that you see on the box there. Go, you got the robot and the aeroplane there. This, uh, looks interesting enough. Um, yeah, fully articulate, not as articulate as some of the Master Grade kits, but I can't see any poly. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Just say I can't see any polycats in this kit, but there is. Yeah. 
be interesting to go through that one. Okay, and I also got myself some um, more Gundam markers because I found they're really useful for when you're painting figures especially. white one, well it's grey in this set but I've got some upstairs, uh, you get a white one and all different colours but they're fine enough so that you can actually colour in the eyes on your models but they're also paint, they're acrylic paint, alcohol based acrylic paint, similar formula to the uh, Tamiya paint so you can clean it off with um, surgical spirit, isopropanol, any form of painting alcohol you can use, don't, whatever you do, don't use Windex, um, I tried this once just didn't work. <laughs> so, um, keep it. I use surgical spirits because I suppose it's almost impossible to get in England easily without having to buy it off the internet and having to ship to your house. Um, I try and go into Boots. Um, they sell surgical rubbing spirits. It's about three pound fifty for like five hundred mils and stuff. And geez, it works. It's actually better. I found for thinning things like the Citadel washes. Um, inks and um, the Vallejo Liquid Gold series really good for that because um, I found sometimes if you use isopropanol with the liquid gold it tends to separate the pigments out a little bit too quickly and the pigments seem to get really fast they have to keep mixing it up which then speeds up the drying time I found so um, surgical spirits, you need less of it, literally just one drop to four or five drops of liquid gold and um, you're fine to go on and it smooths on your models perfectly and you don't get this pigment thing thing that you usually get with it I haven't mixed it up enough Yep, so this came for me from Japan today, really sharp I'm not looking forward to the letter I'm going to get from customs though because um, they did mark it as merchandise, which I know some things I've bought from abroad from like China and stuff like that, they have marked it as a gift to buy past customs. But there you go, even if I did, I'd still get it for cheaper. Because this kit on eBay is £25, believe it or not, and I paid just short of a tenner for it. Um, this kit, about 15 I paid a fiver. These things, I paid about six quid. They're like fifteen ninety five on eBay. Ridiculous prices to be honest. Um but oh and that kit is like two hundred and odd pounds on eBay. Don't know where they get the prices from. I paid about thirty five, I think, for it. It's ridiculously pricey. Um but postage was expensive. It cost me about fifteen pound postage, but there you go. It has to come all the way from Japan believe it or not. But there you go. Uh, thanks again, and I will be uploading this shortly. Cheers. Bye.